today. Camera's rolling. All right, this is performance. Take one, a cam mark. My name is Holly Miranda, and I am going to teach you how to play my song, Everlasting. Uh, so this is uh, the Gibson, the Amy Lou Harris edition, uh, which they only made 50 of these, and this is the showroom model from Gibson in New York, and it is super banged up. Um, but I've had it for a year. I took it out for the, um, I played guitar on Karen O's uh, solo tour, and I borrowed it for that, and I just have not given it back. And I don't want to give it back, because it is the best guitar I've ever played. Uh, so this song is um, all about uh, half steps, which is um, a D to a D augmented to a D6 to a D7. Love comes and love goes. Sometimes it stops and we don't notice. And then this next chord is sort of something that I, it was kind of a cop out when I was teaching myself guitar because I, my hands weren't strong enough to do um, bar chords yet. And now I just like the way it sounds, so I do this in a lot of songs, which is um, rather than doing a G like that, I'll do it like this, and sort of, I have ridiculously long thumbs. I have like, even cowgirls get the blues thumbs. So I bring that around and sort of mute the top part, but let this ring out. So it's a G to, and this is where the half steps start to an F sharp, and then up to a B minor, but leaving it all open. See here the other strings ringing out rather than doing, you know? So it kind of has this like dissonance to it. So let's see. Love comes and love goes. Sometimes it stops and we don't notice that we're not going. We are drifting apart. And then sometimes for cheesy fun, I'll go. <laughs> uh, so that's the verse. It's that twice. Uh, and then what I guess I would call the pre-chorus um, is now bar chords, uh, E minor. I, I, I never do to an A, and then I sort of throw this little flare in here where I, so like a, A, back to the E minor, and then a quick B minor with the up beat, back to the A, and then the half steps really start to kick in. So that part is a, Um, and then I guess I would call this the chorus, which is a B minor. And then you're just walking down the bass note and mostly just playing these three strings. Uh, B minor, walking to the bass to a B flat, to an A major, walk the bass to an A flat, to a G. Um, and usually on the first half of the chorus, I'll play the bass riff and then let the bass player play it on the second one. So it would be like. That's a, it's like an F sharp, but again, I'm letting the open strings ring out and doing that little slide up to the, uh, I don't know what that is, I guess like a major. So, cause my love is everlasting for you. So that is the entire verse, the pre-chorus and the chorus. Uh, so to recap, before we get to the bridge, which would be the final piece of this uh, shred puzzle. Um, 
And love comes and love goes Sometimes it stops and we don't notice And where none go and we are drifting apart There's gotta be some way to see With a hand so high above the trees A tidal wave comes to drown the hearts To the pre-chorus And you kind of have to chew that word I, 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 I never do you that way I, I make sure you hit these on the upbeat I, I, I do that because my love is everlasting for you My love is everlasting for you. So that happens twice, and then this will get you to the bridge, which is um, the open B minor again to my weird G, E minor, back to the open F sharp. And then the second time you do it, you swap the E minor and the G. So the second time would be B minor to an E minor, G, F sharp, and then do that whole thing one more time. So. It's just um, the first line of the chorus. My love is everlasting for you. So just ending on the G instead of going to the F sharp. And that's the song. <laughs> and then I went to Russia um, to take medical supplies, actually Belarus, to take medical supplies to areas affected by Chernobyl when I was 14 on this like missions trip through the church. And our, our Point family in Minsk had a daughter who was my age who brought her guitar to Gomel. And she taught me how to play Zombie and Linger by the Cranberries on the guitar. Nice. And then when I came back from that trip, I was obsessed with learning every single song that I could figure out. You know, I would just go online and print out tablature and print out chords for any song that I knew. And, um, and that's how I taught myself guitar.